Good morning all. My today's reflection will be taken from the Gospel of St. John, chapter 17, verses 1 through 11. This uh, Gospel of St. John is traditionally called the priestly prayer of Jesus Christ. Our Lord Jesus Christ, before ascending into heaven, he prayed to God the Father, that all those, all his followers, Christians, the believers, may they all be reunited united with one heart and one mind. So I want us to reflect and meditate on this question. I don't know if we Christians are we more united or more divided after all these 2,000 years. Our Lord Jesus Christ said this prayer. Uh, we, may we always remember as Christians that we all have one common goal and one common destiny. And that is to know God, to serve God, to love God, and to, to serve one another and to love one another. And also to be happily live with our Lord Jesus Christ. God the Father and God the Holy Spirit in heaven to have to enjoy the peace of everlasting glory after our earthly life. So reminding us that we are all precious and beloved sons and daughters of God. And secondly, Jesus uh, prayed for us to be partakers and be sharers of the Trinitarian glory, the glory he shared with God the Father and God the Holy Spirit, even before the foundation of the world. And that glory is to enjoy the fullness of the beatific vision, to also to enjoy the peace of everlasting glory after our life here on earth. And uh, also Jesus talked about eternal life, particularly in chapter, in chapter 17, verse 3. Said that eternal life is to know God, the only true God, and Jesus Christ who he sent. And uh, for us to know, for us to be courageously and uh, be comfortable enough to share God with others, we must know God very well. We must know him ourselves. So we must develop a good relationship with God. So for no one gives what he or she does not have. So it's only when we know God very well before we can be courageous enough and before we can be comfortable enough to share God with others. And also our divine Savior to also spread the goodness and kindness of our divine Savior when we know him very well before we can comfortably do that. And uh, this particular uh, verse is very special verse for we Salvatorians. So our founder, Blessed Francis Jordan, that was beatified this last Saturday at uh, St. John's Lateran Basilica in Rome. So he was officially declared blessed. And uh, blessed is uh, the last step before sainthood. So he talked about eternal life. This very, this very verse is one of the biblical foundations of our charisma sabbatorians. So making the divine savior known by always and all means, making him known by words and also actions. So may we always pray through the intercession of this newly beatified Francis Jordan. May the good Lord give us the grace always as we strive daily to deepen our love and relationship with him, to grow, to continue to grow from strength to strength, from grace to grace, to strive to know God, the only true God, and Jesus Christ, who he has sent. And this is eternal life, and this is our goal here on earth. Because after our life here, it's our hope, it's our belief that we shall live eternally with God in heaven. So may we always struggle to be good to one another. May we all struggle to love one another so that eventually we all we enjoy the fullness of beatific vision, sharing the everlasting life with the most holy trinity. May God bless.
Bless your product.